aware of the bombs that were created today When you told me that sure there's a way The water's so still and my pain has gone away What is up guys, my name is Marcus Cisneros and I am the co-writer and director of Disposable. Alright, so Disposable is the story about two undocumented Mexican laborers who flee this crazy Mexican second civil war that is fueled by the drug trade and US intervention. And they escape the war and find refuge and work in fascist xenophobic USA and here's the caveat, is that there is a militia sanctioned by the government called the Scarecrows who are tasked with hunting down any and everybody who crosses that border and seeks refuge in the U.S. fleeing that civil war. Jesse and Elbert, they're the two protagonists of Disposable. In many ways, they are two halves of a whole. Elbert is, spur of the moment, wants to do whatever he is feeling. Elbert is really complex in the way that he it, has lived his life and approaches things and compared to Jesse who's a lot more idealistic and wants to approach things with a cool, calm and collected mindset. Films can transport us into worlds that we all hope to visit and as well as ones that we never hope to imagine. And the world of Disposable takes us to the darkest corners of our minds as people of color, uh, specifically Latinos and Mexicanos. The world of Disposable uh, puts our characters in nightmarishly difficult situations where there is such little light at the end of the tunnel, but there is every chance for inhumane systematic extermination. So it's our mission that was Disposable that we give the audience a look into the American immigrant experience at its worst, and it's the story of when the American dream meets the American nightmare. Myself, as like a queer and uh, trans person, I've never been able to see queer trans people of color in front of the camera told, you know, in, in authenticity. Being able to share a love story between two masculine people is something that I don't think I ever really see on the screen in mainstream media. Making a story about a person that's trying to be saved for their own access, for their health, as well as trying to hold on to someone that you really care about is an important part of the story. So it's not only an opportunity to go ahead and help out young local artists from your community, but it's also an opportunity to go ahead and say, hey, these stories need to be told and they deserve to be made and to be seen. So if you like neo-westerns, if you like genre films, if you like action, thriller, horror, a little bit of sci-fi thrown in, then this is the film for you. And we'd love to have your support and the best things that you can do are to donate, to advocate, as well as reach out and support the film in whichever way you can. So again, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. We hope to have your support and thank you.